Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm going to show you where you can get thousands of free game-ready models, a lot of them animated and rigged and ready to go, and your first guess might be, you mean Asset Jesus Kenny? Well, yeah, you can go to Kenny NL and get a ton of assets, which by the way, it's Kenny, K-E-N-N-E-Y dot N-L, but no, we're not talking about him today, we're talking about his evil cousin, Quaternius, and Quaternius is available at Quaternius, Q-U-A-T-E-R-I. N-I-U-S dot com. By the way, there's nothing about him that's evil. It just made sense to say it at the time. And as you can see here, he has a ton of low polygon packs available across a wide variety of genres from animated mechs to spaceships to sci-fi building kits to medieval villages and more. So we're going to take a look at some of these today. We'll start off with, uh, say, the ultimate building pack, and then we'll look at a couple of others. Like, for example, the... Um I don't know. Which one are we going to pull down? We'll grab this one here, the Toon Shooter Kit. Uh, it's one of the newer ones here, released in December 2022. We've released these things for years, all kinds of things in the packs. You want to go ahead and grab them. They're available up on Google Drive. So what you want to do is open up the Google Drive. Just come to this folder right here and click Download. This will generate a zip file of the contents and download it to your machine. Um, it can take a little bit of time for Google Drive to do this. I don't know why. Maybe Google just doesn't have good servers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, yep, there it goes. Now it's going to go ahead and download. None of these things are really huge, between like 20 and 100 megabytes in size. So with that downloaded, let's go take a look at what we got. So we're going to head on over here to our downloads folder right there. There is a zip file that it generated. Just go ahead and extract that guy out. One of the really nice things about all of Quaternius' packs is they have uh, a number of different file formats in them. Uh, at least generally they do. So let's go see what we've got for characters. So here you can see you've got Blender, FBX, GLTF, and OBJ formats here. Uh, by the way, if anything is going to be animated, you're not going to want to use the OBJ. That tends to be a static. So here we've got uh, three different soldiers going on here. I'm going to open up the, um, uh, which one did I pick? The character soldier. So here you can see the character in action, as I mentioned earlier on, fully rigged. So we got a ton of different weapons on this guy. So let's go ahead and check out one of the animations. So let's do idle shooting and play. Boom, boom. Boom. Obviously, you would hide the weapons you're not using in your game logic. So if you don't need the sword, you would hide the sword. Um, or, of course, if you're not using this in a game, you could just go in here and basically hide all of the weapons that he doesn't need, like so. So if you want to just have the gun, you could just leave it to just the particular gun. But you can see how game-ready these things actually are, because he's got uh, a ton of different weapons up and going. They could all be configured on and off. So you're looking at about 10 or 15 different weapons this guy is rigged to use. Uh, a ton of different animations here as well. So let's see his death animation in action. And let's check out that animation. Go ahead and play that. Boom. So that is just one of the characters in this pack. A ton of different packs. And again, there are uh, building packs, sci-fi mods, or the kit packs, etc. I'm also going to show you a top tip while I'm here. Uh, one thing you may have noticed here is when I opened this asset up, I got his UI. And this is one of those things I've hated about Blender since day one. You probably don't like it as well. When you're opening up a blend file, uh, so any blend file. So let's, let's open up this enemy blend right here. What you can do is come in here and click this little gear and turn off load UI. Then you're going to get the, the well, the, lo the UI is already loaded. But if that was fresh, uh, you would have just gotten a standard stock UI. Now the problem is when you open up a Blender asset by double clicking it, it doesn't, you don't get the option of turning that option off. So if you don't want someone's weird UI layout automatically loaded, what you can do is you can go into edit, preferences, and then go on down to a system, no, no, sorry, not system, uh, save and load, and turn this guy right there off. So turn that off, and then uh, quit, like so. And now, when I grab one of these characters, let's grab the hazmat character, I will get the default Blender loadout, which is so much nicer in my opinion. So a little top tip if you're a Blender user and you hate that default behavior, uh, that is... Um, how you can turn that off. So a little bit of a sidetrack here, but here you can see another one of the characters. Again, a number of different weapons defined for this guy, like I, literally over a dozen different weapons, a ton of different animations available for each one. They're all game ready, as you saw from the, uh, the directory here, available in not only Blender, also FBX, which is going to be ready to go in like Unity or Unreal Engine immediately, GLTF, which should play incredibly well with the Godot game engine, uh, and other like online engines such as Play Canvas, and OBJ, which is kind of a universal but static file format. So you can use it, guys, just about wherever you want. You also have a number of environments here. So blend settings here. Let's see what we've got going on. Um, tank. All right, let's open up Tank. Let's see what Tank looks like. And... Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Little 
tank. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. Uh, so that's the kind of stuff you're getting in these packs, and you're getting them in a plethora of formats, which I very much appreciate. Uh, so that is one of the assets. Let's go take a look at another one that they've got here, something a little bit different. So let's do... Uh, uh, this is the one I showed from this, the, the thumbnail, so I'm not going to do it. By the way, this is a nice pack. One of the things I would like, if I could give feedback to uh, Quaternius about these packs, is he never has the overarching model from what I've seen. So this demo level all put together, I'd love to see that included in the scene as well, instead of all the, the modules and stuff that go together to create this. So let's go ahead and check out... Uh, spaceships are pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go check out Medieval Village. All right, so go ahead. Again, we'll download it. Uh, once again, same process, just come on in here and get Google to do a download of it. We'll create a zip and bring the file down. Uh, if you want to support him, by the way, on Patreon, uh, he's obviously there. And what you can do is basically click here and do the $1 for all the files in one zip file. Uh, so if you don't want to download everything individually from uh you know, you know, Google Drive, you can actually grab it this way uh, through supporting him in Patreon. By the way, he also has a number of different tutorials here, which are sweet. He's actually, I forget whose style he took away here, this kind of single image layout, um, but it, you're going to like it. So if you want to do a run animation, he actually walks you through the process of creating an animation, very simple, uh, in uh, Blender. And there are a number of these little quick and dirty uh, tutorials here. Here's how you can easily create hair uh, in just like these animated GIF kind of formats. So uh, some nice little quick tip tutorials also available on the site, Quartanius.com. All right, so let's go see what that other pack looked like. So head on over here uh, and back to my downloads folder. So Medieval Village pack. Let's go ahead and we'll extract that one out. All right, there you go. And generally, again, multiple different formats. So let's look at the building side of things. Oh, one question you should probably be asking and you should always ask is what about the license? And the license is CC0 Universal, which is a very, very liberal in what it allows you to do. All right, so let's go to buildings. So here you can see it's got a Blender, FBX format, and OBJ. Let's go check one in Blender. So we've got the inn, the blacksmith, and so on. Let's open up the blacksmith and see what that looks like. So this is kind of the medieval village pack. And again, just straight out ready to go, which is uh, very cool. So if you're trying to create a game environment, you can easily do so with these models, easy and ready to go. So let's pull another one in, for example, file in, oh, sorry, file, um, I'll append it and let's grab the mill. All right, yeah, mill, object, bring those guys in, move that over. So you can see you could quickly create a medieval village, get it up and going. Good quality assets. They're um, kind of in the style of Sinti, uh, and you could probably mix and match these in with Sinti paid assets without too much work. Now, there is a kind of a variety of content across the site. So uh, some of these other assets are uh, a much different style. The, the newer stuff is a little bit more consistent uh, in the cartoony style. And then we've got some, like the stylized nature pack is a little bit different in the go. These guys are a bit more on the Sinti side of the character style. Um, this is a little bit on the different side. It's actually probably one of my favorite artistically. Uh, but there is a pretty good consistency of style across them. But as you can see, over the years, I actually think he's improved his art capabilities too. And some of the early stuff is like really low polygon. Uh, so you're going to find probably you're going to prefer the, the later stuff in here. But some of the isometric stuff from early on is still uh, quite useful. So if you're looking to create uh, low polygon games, definitely one of those websites you want to be aware, 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 aware of. Uh, Quaternius.com uh, is the place to be. Uh, again, all free. Uh, CC zero um, assets. So if you don't know, Creative Commons is a very liberal license. It allows you to use them in commercial games. Uh, he didn't even do an attribution version. So you don't even have to put him in the credits or anything like that. Uh, very generous in that regard. So if you do like what he does, uh, do be sure to check out his uh, patron to help support him. So again, probably, oh, I, I imagine there's yeah, there's there's well over a thousand assets in this bundle across the board, and it does keep adding more. So you're going to want to keep an eye on that. Uh, so if you are looking for low poly 3D models, Quaternius is another one to check out. And of course, uh, there is still old asset Jesus out there. Not calling you old, Kenny, uh, but I figured I should mention you as well. Uh, Kenny, uh, which you probably already know of as well. And Quaternius, both uh, doing a yeoman effort at bringing the world of game development to more and more people. And when you're just starting out and you need assets, it's wonderful. It's more encouraging in your game if your game looks kind of good. And these are all game ready and ready to go, which is somewhat invaluable. So if you are looking for a game development assets, hopefully this video helped you. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.